Pierre Poiliev brings the heat in today's debate. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Before we get into it, I do want to encourage everyone to smash like button, subscribe if you haven't yet already. It does really help grow the channel. But more importantly, just uh, instead of just subscribing or liking the videos, you can click and tap that little bell icon. That'll notify you of upcoming videos. But more importantly, live streams. House of Canada live streams every single question period for those who did not know. Now, what you're about to watch is Pierre Poiliev obliterate absolutely destroy the liberal cabinet justin trudeau though was nowhere to be found he's he's gone missing ladies and gentlemen justin trudeau likes to show up for work when it's convenient for him uh but not to worry because when justin trudeau does show up you will know about it here on this channel but in the meantime i want you guys to sit back relax and watch pierre poiliev do his thing he's kind of like a magician he you know what i shouldn't even say that because that puts him up on a pedestal when you or i could make the liberal mps look really stupid pierre just does it on national television or more importantly on house of canada's live streams that get more views the national television or the national broadcast corporation cpac but hey who am i to toot my own horn without further ado let's get into this video oral questions questions i'm the leader of the opposition here we go the common sense conservatives will cut taxes, build homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. However, this prime minister is not worth the cost. After eight years, he spent huge sums of money with huge deficits and tax increases and thought that somebody else would pay. But he's not this millionaire prime minister. His friends who will pay, it's always the welders, single mothers, mm -hmm. seniors who will have to deal with the increased cost of groceries and the doubling in the cost of housing. The Honourable Minister of Immigration, Mr. Speaker, what Canadians heard is a leader who doesn't have a vision, no ambition and no plan. On this side of the House, we understand that Canadians and Canadians understand that a country with ambition is a country that invests. It's a country that invests in more jobs, that invests in building more housing, that has more growth, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, we will continue to focus to fight for Canadians every day while the Conservatives will invite a new slogan today, Mr. Speaker. Hell yeah! The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Give us a new slogan. His ambition is to replace his boss. And he's not the only one. <laughs> he's not alone. He wants to fire this prime minister who is not worth the cost after eight years. Results speak for themselves. He doubled the cost of housing, increased the cost of groceries, and now he's doubled the national debt. The results are poverty and exorbitant prices for Canadians. Why another forty billion dollars will why will another forty billion dollars change the results? Let's go, Pierre. Drop a W in the chat. Minister of Innovation, Mr. Speaker, the only Let's see them W's fly. On this side of the House is to work every day for Canadians, and that is exactly what we've done for the past eight years. While the Conservative leader is inventing a new slogan every week, Canadians know full well that slogans don't build homes. Slogans don't build growth, Mr. Speaker. Slogans don't create jobs. They've been there for eight years, Mr. Speaker. When's the last time that they created, the Conservatives created a single job in this country? On this side of the House, we're going to fight every day for Canadians. We're going to present a responsible budget, and we will continue to ensure growth for this country, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. While common sense Conservatives will axe the tax, build the homes, Sorry. fix the budget, and stop the crime after eight years, this Prime Minister is not worth the cost. The results are in. He told us that if he massively increased debts and taxes, that someone else would pay for it. But of course, the millionaire trust fund prime minister and his billionaire friends who invite him to private islands Ooh. never pay a dime. It's always seniors, small businesses, and s single mothers. Why would it be any different this time? The Honourable President of the Treasury Board. 
Mr. Speaker, in this budget, like all others, we will take into account the economic context as well as the needs of Canadians. That means for millennials and Gen Z as well, we will unlock supply and housing. We will ensure there are supports for renters. We will make sure there is a national school food program, and Mr. Speaker. And on this side of the House, we will make sure we do that while maintaining a strong fiscal position, AAA credit rating, and the lowest debt to GDP ratio in the G7. Slogans don't make good policy, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, they definitely proven that. Their slogan for the last eight years is that you can double the debt and someone else will just pay the bill. Yeah. But we, out, we know who pays every single time. It is welders and Canadians. seniors, small businesses and single mothers who, who have faced doubling housing costs and unaffordable food. And now their solution is to do more of the same, to pour on billions of dollars more of inflationary spending that will drive up interest rates, inflations, and taxes. Why would we expect it to be any different this time? We had a triple A debt rating, man. President of the The banks must love how much we owe. On the contrary, our government has lifted 2.3 million Canadians out of poverty. And I would like to Yeah, and put 3.2 million of Canadians into poverty. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Except everything she just listed are slogans that they, on which they have not delivered. <laughs> what they have delivered is they've doubled the debt, which has caused That's pretty funny. the worst inflation in 40 years, interest rates rising faster than at any time in history, the doubling of housing costs, the worst growth in the G7, the worst housing price inflation in that same group of nations. And today, after all of these devastatingly costly results, what are they do the same thing that got us in this problem in the first place. Why won't they realize that they're the problem and not the solution? The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition has been masquerading across the country as a working class hero, but it's fascinating when you actually listen to what he thinks people do for a living. In a couple of recent speeches, he said he thinks elect- nice haircut. electricity from the sky and that welders weld with their- <clears throat> Did the lawnmower fall on his head? The fishermen of my community die beneath the ocean to catch them with their bare teeth? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I can forgive the Opposition Leader for being a career politician who's been on the public dime for a couple of decades, but if he wants to represent the interests of the working class, he should talk to a person who has a real job. So, all of these SEALs that are clapping are, 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 just admitted that they don't have a real job. <laughs> They're so dumb. The House Speaker just shushed grown ass men and women. Order. Hello. Order. Please. Oh my god. Drop an L in the chat. Drop an L in the chat. This is embarrassing for the Liberals and the Liberal House Speaker. Order, please. Shh. Shh. Everybody be quiet now. Just announce the next person. The Let's get on with it. For La Prairie. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to end today's video. Let's know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you pro Pierre or are you against him? Believe it or not, there actually is a few liberals that have trickled into the into the community here on the live streams, in the chat, or in the video. So it seems a little ridiculous for me to have to ask that. Do you, do you support Pierre or not? Because there's obviously a lot of people, the majority of people, 99% probably, that watch these videos that do support him but just let me know down in the comments if you support him or if you don't and in the meantime um watch other videos and i will see you in the next one bye for now